Now, the from from uh, François Boerta uh, and Hermann Honecker, we have this question: Can we ex uh, um, accept the fact that the ANC has effectively used the Disaster Management Act to reach their dream of uh, South Africa becoming a one-party state under ANC rule? Um, not governance, but rule. But I, I think perhaps the the, the more heart, the the heart of the question is, are they using uh, this crisis to further their ideological ends? And if I listen to you, that ideological ends is the NDR. The fact seems to be rather an ambiguous on that, and they are moving in the direction of you know never wasting a good crisis, aren't they? I think that's correct, yes. Um, it's one of the points, too, that I, I have in the paper, which to which you referred at the beginning. Um, and, and this really does come also from uh, Yuri Meltsev, who was an economic advisor to Gorbachev in the late 1980s and then defected to the West. And he said that people who want to take your liberty will use a crisis in order to achieve that. And the crisis could be real or it could be fabricated or it could be a mixture of the two. And I think obviously the virus is real, but there is an element of fabrication because of the lockdown and the government's unwillingness to end it. If they had a, had a three week lockdown at the appropriate time when we could use that opportunity simply to prepare the health system and to do very rapid testing and tracing to try and stop the virus in its tracks, uh, that could have been a useful intervention. Instead, one fears that this very long lockdown does have an ideological core reason. It's clearly not meeting its, its stated objectives, bringing the R number below one, um, properly flattening the curve. It's not doing that. And it's not, of course, able to protect the millions living in those crowded areas. And the government, of course, is aware of these things, though it's not sharing on any of its data with us. So that it persists with the lockdown in the face of the evidence that it's not meeting objectives indicates that it's not the health issues that are really in it at the heart of the government's decision making, but rather the ideological ones. And then when President Ramaphosa says we will make radical economic um, transformation the foundation of our new economy, one is even more concerned that it's the ideology that's, that's controlling the decision making.